Welcome back, guys, to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where we now hide from Jin's horrible machinization as he trumps towards us with a Titan weapon that could pretty much wipe out armies here in Templantia. That said, though, side quests come are on, also present on. and need to be done, as bit. I've done a fair bit since last episode in terms of housekeeping. Let's put it that way. Housekeeping. It's getting... Oh, it's firing. Oh! Oh! It fired. It fired. Now, what I mean by that is I've chosen Blaze to move with Overdrive. I've sorted out Ox Cores on Blaze, which I won't show you too much. I've even done some Affinity Chart grinding for Blaze that had monster kills to get on previous areas. So, what I mean by that is, like, Orion monsters to kill, like the Carlo Squarrel. Carlo Squarrels? Is that what they're called again? So, we got that sorted out. With that said, though, there are very obvious little things around for us to do to improve our blades further. One of which is Agat here has a prospecting quest. Listen to what Agat wants to do in an in Uriah. In We've moved a couple of blades around. So as you will see, we now have Boreas on Nia here, who also has an affinity chart grinding thing by going to Argentum and filling food stash with cooked food and other stuff as well. So, if we want to get Boreas leveled up so Nia can actually use it to effectiveness again, there's some stuff there. I've done a bit of moving around on Morag as well, as Morag now has two other tank blades in Percival and Finch ready to go to the battle. Of course, Finch needs trust to be built up before Finch can really get rolling, but there's options there. With Tora, I've leveled up Poppy a little bit more. To the point of getting feels stronger. more stuff here from playing a lot of Tiger Tiger. So new bits here, like emergency mode has been upgraded there, trade items in exchange, whatever that is. And the Nopon Wisdom has improved as well, so we have more of that than ever before. In fact, Poppy's chart's looking like the clearest of everyone. Oh! More power always welcome. And I got one for Poppy Cutie as well by the look of it. Vegetable information, you know? Vegetable information is important information. In the meantime, though, Zeke, of course, has low-level blades currently without affinity charts grinded on them, so he'll have to get there in time before we can really properly use them. However, he is, like, leveled up compared to everything. And with Pandoria having another bit of our shock mastery, we might be able to revive someone if we can go do the thing in Argentum. So in some senses, before we continue here, watching the crazy stuff of the story, you know exactly what I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going back. Because at the very least, I want my healing blade to be a little bit better and it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Onwards. Good job. Thank Super you for the five months in a row. Your favourite number is five, is it? That was a slog. Welcome to I the sub crew. Go. It's just so silly that the game will let you just go, yeah, I'm going somewhere else. I'm going to just nip off somewhere. Why have I portaled all the way up here, you wonder? One of the other things I did was a bit of salvaging to make a little bit of money as well. So, I'm wondering if my salvaging level has gone up. Considering it seems to block off some Ugh. merchants here and there. So let's check with Machichi first. Friends want ranking of salvager. Machichi cannot wait to see how much Rex improves salvaging skills. Please hand over fee then. Yeah, we'll pay 500. As you see, I've got 200 cash now. There's a war going on, and I've gone somewhere else. You know, like the Praetor can wait. Ignore the war and death. That's what we're doing. Thanks greatly, friends. I let Machichi see. Bala level salvager Rex. Salvager rank should be... Congratulations, increased to rank C! Actually, Dadapon and Mochichi also rank C. Equal skill to Dadapon of Age of Friends is quite impressive. It's certainly rank C very good ranking among salvagers of Argentum. Can earn enough money salvaging to feast on mushrooms every day. We're a mushroom feast salvager. Fancy Mochichi again after doing much more salvage. Who knows, maybe Mochichi give friends shiny new rank for small fee. Finally, this is reward for rank increase. We got another we got a premium cylinder and a salvager rank C certificate. Machine Hunter 4 and a black belt. Now, one of the other things I've actually done in the meantime... Oh, well, the hell, I actually clipped into the terrain then. One of the other things I've actually done is... I've completely forgot. Oh, yeah, sorted out attachments for everyone in terms of where I wanted them, so they've got better stuff now. So that's never bad. Speaking of more no-poms is never bad as well. They only start saying he wanted to become salvager, but me telling him it's a bad idea. Oh, wait a second, no pom wisdom's full, so I don't need to speak to any no-poms anymore. Is that right? We need all security personnel we can get right now, so no one get away from vile deeds like Chairman Banner. Besides, Limuli is doty pon, always late for work and make a mistake. Not cut out for a dangerous job like salvaging. You never know, we might get, like, level ups, though. Huh. Oh. 
Alright, so what are we here to do? Our Gentomy stuff. Essentially, we're looking for a warehouse. Which is right down here next to Renta Renta. What a... Do these people's jobs get chosen before they're born and then their names get based on it? Do they gain names like this from the jobs that they take? Renta Renta is a weird name. Is he a property mogul? My man, it's not good at all. What should Renta Renta do with empty air house? If nobody used, better to give to someone for free. Something the matter. Meme? You people drivers and blades? Renter Renter inherit useless warehouse from television dad upon. No use to me, so I was wondering what to do. It's Renter Renter's rental rents. Yes. That's it. But, or do they change names? These are the questions. Maybe some blades of friends want extra space to use. Wanting bookcases maybe? Or just place to store fav lots of favorite stuff? Which is exactly what Boreas wants. If driver's willing, me rent out lovely warehouse to driver friends. Low, low price of 100,000 G. I just use the seven map free. But well, if friends find Wayne's warehouse without opening door, by all means use to heart's consent. Oh? But if friends pay 100,000 G, me open door and friends can use freely. Why would I pay that then, if you can say I can find a way through? Can I? Hmm, too pricey? Then Renner Renner makes a slightly better offer. 10 G. Renner Renner cannot make any better offer than this. If friends change mind, come back to see Renner Renner any time. 10 G. 10 G. So it's not that which is in there. Oh no, wait a second, that is in there, but it's not behind Courier Max. It's not behind Courier Max. Ah, autocam. Also around places I have actually done some mercenary work and some buying of items at different shops to try and level up stuff. So these things were done. Like you're done. If you know what I mean. Either from above or below. So I'll just show you my Merc level right now. It is 2965 out of 3000. Once these teams arrive, we will also get Rock up another mercenary level, of which we could have to go to the mercenary camp to get up properly. Such a thing, you know? Such a thing. Also, when I think about it, the expansion pass here. Now has Talk to Totor, Import and Angam in more Ardain as a quest. So I'll take those contents too. Doesn't have any more contents apart from that. Which we were wondering when we booted up the game. There we go. Cloud Sea, good sea. Thank you enemy for knocking me in it earlier and making me realise that's completely fine to swim in. The warehouse back door. Poppy power. <laughs> I know Nopon's like the back of my... Leave uh, Nopon to Poppy. Fung. That was lucky that Boreas had no pawn wisdom, wasn't it? Alright, the Goldworth Warehouse. Not a problem. Don't have to pay 100 grand. Just have to go in here for a stupid entrance every time. Can I open it from this side? No. Well, we can see that through the window since the very Your start of the game. Mind. Another common core crystal. In fact, we made a profit of money. Alright, let's see what this is then. Oh, there we go. These are boxes for stashing food that I prepared at max speed just for me. The plan is to fill them up with all kinds of food I like. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. The more food I have handy, the better I can concentrate on battling. First up, let's collect some cooked foods. We'll take care of it. I don't even know if I have much cooked food to actually fill this up with and get the affinity chart. So... Boreas note, cooked food box. It's three per one. I think the affinity chart is more important than anything. And we have food that we like. Yeah, we just don't have the stuff here. I said, is any of this stuff I can buy here? Like up the top level? Grass, smoked salmon. Or do I have to make it myself? Braised cloud sea shark? Sounds like it might be stuff I can buy here. And get the affinity chart up a little bit more before we move on. So I have a time for Pira to cook some more. Which is up here as well, we can cook stuff. It's Super Bowl Sunday, isn't it? Anyone going to be watching that as well while I stream? And can I just cook here, please? Was it here I could cook? Or was it somewhere else I could cook? Oh, I can't cook here. 
I've got ten of everything from this place. As I said, I've been buying some stuff around the place. Fishy Fishy, maybe Fishy Fishy has it. Ah, I had good anchor tail, right. Oh, we can also buy the deeds for Fishy Fishy. So essentially, if we keep going up and down here, we can get the level up. I'll buy the Fishy Fishy's deeds for some reason. That should come up as a landmark, so we can just keep getting back there. You, you just paid rather than find the alternate thing. Well, I'm a Scrooge McDuck, so... I'll do what I can regarding that. Good anchor tail! Sam Sam greater than football football. I thank you. I need to make another two trips by the look of it. Well, at least we get one more quest on the way before we actually start tromping for a day. Oh, we were right next to a massive planet killer monster. I'm resourceful. And where you? No, I just read quest just text. Go. Reading quest text can help at times. Most of my crazy moronic moments are because I didn't read a quest text after all. Aren't they? In general? Hopefully you don't sell out of Guild Ankatel anytime soon. I'm going to buy quite a lot. So one more trip after this. Huh. At least you can just jump down from here. Scrooge McDuck is your favourite Disney character? Gotta play some DuckTales. All reminds me of the uh, the best Disney game I ever played. And by that I mean the actual Disney game, not Kingdom Hearts. Was uh, Mario and Donald um, Castle of Illusion, I think was the game it was. I know lots of people, uh, the DuckTales game is regarded as a classic. But I remember playing Mario and Donald's uh, Castle of Illusion with like my brothers and that. And it was a lot of fun. Cool. It was really a lot of fun. I really like that game. The Fantasia kind of theme, I think. Did anyone else play Mario and Donald? Mario and Donald. <laughs> Mickey and Donald. <laughs> oh, I'm such a brain in the brain. You want to play Mario and Donald? It's like Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. I mean, Mickey and Donald at the Olympics. What? I'm confused. Yeah, no one's heard of Mario and Donald. <laughs> it's what they renamed Luigi to for a little bit. Boris, no, no more will fit. Right, so his key affinity was level t to two. Cook food box, no more will fit. Anything else I can do with you, uh, mister? Maybe I've got to make the affinity actually pop up now. I'll keep getting bigger and better. If you, yeah, you'll keep getting bigger. Use staple foods. Use seafood. Use sweets. Use drinks. Use vegetables. Use meat. Speak to Boris at the inn in Gormot to view the heart-to-heart -heart Boris the Gourmand. Okay. Okay, now we can actually do another one. Desserts box. Well, I do have a fair few desserts. I actually have enough to make this work. It's the other bizarre thing. Okay, a level 3 rarity one gives a lot more. So I can at least level him up a little bit more than this. The 3D rice balls is what I was using. Right, so we level him up to level 3. He's a black hole for food. I'll keep getting bigger and better. Use staple foods, use seafood for... So basically, you've just got to keep feeding the character and you can get it leveled up ridiculously fast. Oh no, not no pond wisdom, speaking to 50 no ponds. Yikes. And fleet of foot as well, move fast than the eye can see. How is he fast in the eye? Oh, and that move fleet of foot is what you need to build trust for. What's the that plant-based foods next? This is weird. So you can just build his trust gauge in no time at all, but none of his trust is built on... Oh god, this guy's weird. It's 
So I can't battle to get his skills up. I just have to keep eating more and more foods. Forever and ever. Let's go get my fruity rice balls back. Yeah, at least Boreas is easy to unlock his affinity. You're all right. Especially because the desserts thing. That's the fruity rice balls I like. Oh, we can buy the deeds for the honeycomb now. Okay. Increase dev point gains by one. Nice. I got cash for it at this point. All right, now we get metal next to his name because we bought all the things. Equally, I imagine there's a lot of places I can buy stuff now. Oh, bubbly manny petty kit, sure. All right, so I guess I'll leave his affinity chart for that for now. He says, but then he's like, "Well, why don't I just build it up quickly?" This is really weird. So with Rex, I will give you. Because I think they all have their stuff off at the moment. Might give you the nasty pear jelly. Right, she's drinking tea at the moment. So it's just foodstuffs. So it's staple food like a bright samod. <laughs> I can eat this stuff day and night. So that's probably up to his something. Let's just do that for a couple of things and then go to his affinity chart and see how that ends up doing stuff. This is delicious. I'm glad you like it, Dromark. Yep, just can stats. I have some pirate cooked food in stats. return? So you can level them up no problem. Rest restores 12% of HP damage dealt when a special connects, just using seafood. This is silly. Right, let's use a drink, use a seafood, and use a sweet for now, and then I'll go back to where we were. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. What is with this guy? I'm really confused. That's not exactly hard. Let's use a drink, use some seafood. I've been wanting one of these. I bet you have. And then use a sweet. So if you take a fruity rice ball, sure. And in the meantime, she's got a scarlet shamson on. Because I saw something of Percival's there and was like, ah, oh, I'm going to try to find out what instrument he wants. But I can't do it yet because it's further up the affinity chart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I did do some feeding of some people as well to try and just level up stuff that was food related. Delicious. I'll have to write this down. She loves to search, you know. Right, so then if I go back to your affinity chart, see this is the thing. I knew that Everyone's gonna be real grateful. It took me hours to just do what I did, and then there's just more and more stuff all the time, you know? More and more stuff all the time. Let's head back to Temporantia. You guys have waited long enough. But it's just... How do I keep up with all these blades? How how am I supposed to keep up with all these blades, guys? How? Ooh, let's rest a spell. It's not even pure so, cooked food. Shall we? It's just cooked food. Alright, let's move through. What the hell is that flying around? Frogger Guiana. Was that the monster the Morag had to kill? Do not underestimate Great. them. Oh, we don't, I was about to say, do we not get any battle music? So now it's basically time to start building up some charts and moving on for that. Don't do that, battle person. Mm. Well, it's not coming after me, so that's nice. And even if they're lower level by a large margin, we don't do very well at killing them, do we? It's using a move called Turtle Head. I don't know why that reminds me of. But of course, to be honest, if Morris can use any blade, Bridget is her most leveled one. 
so the other ones aren't really going to find much use for the time being until we do some side quests as well. But she has options and she has elements now. Uh, do we have to dodge the uh, the nuclear shells as they come in from orbit? Just wondering if we could jump down and go places. Yes, we can. I'll sniff them out. Sniff them good. Okay, sniff the things, sniff them good. It's all good, I guess. When will Sam see the hints in chat? Maybe Sam deliberately avoids the hints in chat. Ah, the, the ones that I'm deliberately informing because uh, they're something I would do naturally at some point in the game anyway. But don't really want to do right now. Those hints, yeah, those ones. The ones... Don't backseat me. Bad, bad. Bad, bad. No one ever learns. Right. So, what I'm looking for is there is an enemy type in here that we want to kill. Brogan Ferris. To up the aggro generation. Let's hey, pass this Haggle's sword tip. Do we have to drop down? Almost there. Ah, we can't get closer. Allow me. Fam. Leave her. She'll be fine. Trust me. Now, let's move. Yeah. We just need to cut that. Oh. An independent defense mechanism. Ardanian technology. My apologies. Why would you even bloody make something like that? Bitch later, fight now. Indeed. This is why I didn't want to switch to Zeke. Wondering what was going to happen once we reached that point, you know? Well, here we go. At least we got the cool music for it. Let's show a thing or this is the Ashima's Core. We seem to be doing just fine. I think somehow I'd want to go behind it. Because normal reasons. It's a level 36 special unique monster thing. They're trying to break it, but they're not really succeeding. It didn't connect? I believe in you, Morag. I like your attitude. And not deflecting me. Well One of the done. things I noticed while looking through my plays and all that is actually that uh, Perrin has an ability to get rid of debuffs. Wait, we're not doing any damage. It's just healing, right? Is there something else to attack here? Okay, we're not doing any damage. What? It's not doing any damage to us either, though. Right, so it's keeping healing. There's something else to this battle. Is there a special that I can build up to that has a heal break? Wow. Because this level 36 thing here is what I'm interested in. I could target it. I was trying to target it for ages. I was trying to target it for ages. Don't do this to me, game. I was trying to press R to target that for ages. Ah, oh, you game. Stop being mean to me. Oh, I got lasered. You can still use your lightning bolt. There, Nia. Why can't you use it all of a sudden? Has she been sealed or something? Oh, whoa. 
This will be over before they know what it's done. It's reflecting damage, guys. It's reflecting damage. Right, okay. That's interesting. So I don't want everyone to focus it. I kind of just want to focus it. And let the others attack that. I feel that might be better. It's definitely reflecting damage. Let us make use of it now. That's interesting. Right. Let's break this thing. Mithra style. Mithra! We're not going for the main machine. We're just cutting the power. Yes, seems like it. It's you. I thought it might be. Jin! I knew it. So this is Jin, leader of Torna. I am Fan Lenorin. As envoy of Praetor Malthus, I am bringing you into custody. How ironic. That you should speak his name with that face, oblivious to everything, even your own identity. What? Do you know something about... And you, Aegis. Don't you dare stand there, acting like you're not involved in all this. Alright. Then tell me this. Why are you, who fought alongside us to defeat Malos, now standing by his side? Jin fought against him. It's very simple. I realized he had the right of it. That's all. I don't think it's as simple as that at all. So clever. You always were too clever for your own good. Sorry. That's just the way I am. Mithra! Don't tell me! Yes. He's a blade too. He was the strongest blade in Torna. Until it fell in the war. It fell, says the girl who sank it. A blade? There were none stronger. Yet none kinder, either. And no one who hated to fight more than him. Why, Jin? What changed? What if I told you it was your fault? Mine. If you hadn't sealed yourself away, then she'd still. Oh. So that's it. A color. It's like blood. Careful. That crystal isn't normal. Put away your sword. My ability is to restrict a blade's every action. As long as you are a blade, there is nothing you can do to escape its clutch. Wait, restricting blade's powers? Then before, was that... Go ahead and try. No, leave me alone, handsome man. At least now I know what purple figures are. Mark, you really need to go at this. Flora Ag! Kill him! The Ag has resubbed! Seven months in a row. It's finally time to fight Jin. I was waiting for this. I'm really excited. Well, hopefully we'll be fine. We are over-leveled, actually. 
Let's just keep toppling him, eh? He's trying to exist with me just being a bit of a meanie to him, yeah? What the hell? I'm flying! My dead body. Let's go. Ultra slash. Right, you can ultra slash me all you like, mate. Bit worried that going out of the red would be a bad thing, but uh You made me fly. I'm recharging topple every two seconds at the moment, so I'm quite liking that. And we're able to just No run away! He might make us go flying again! Maybe not. Are you ready to use your special? Madame Mifra? Why not? Make haste and it's too bad you can't really gain stuff when you're not using us. Oh, I'm flying again! He missed! He missed! He missed more it repeatedly! Well, that reset my thing again. Stop resetting my thing! I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get them into something here. Come on. Finally got something right. There we go. I feel like every enemy should be subjected to orbital bombardment, you know? It's quite a nice amount of damage there. Heavenly disrupt. There's many other kinds of disrupt I can do. My dead body. You have my if you want to break him again, that would be quite handy. Oh, I wonder if he's going to be avoiding this. Yep, he is. He avoided most of it then. Right, he is blown down. We're still self-destruct on. And you know what we're doing next, don't you? Uh, we, don't, we can't gather energy for the spirit bomb. we got too much now. Too much power now. Ray of punishment. You know we're gonna beat you here. So that's not a problem. We get two goes on him though. So let's go for let's use Finch. <laughs> what did, did Finch just go for him? Did Finch just go for him? Get him, Nia! What'd she do? You just become a big bull and blew up some people. Well, there goes Jin. Jin was nothing. This is our power. Uh, how? How is he still moving? Even that Petroka girl couldn't withstand it. No. It's working. His powers are certainly limited now. But Jin, he's one of the most powerful blades in history. And you can't hurt a blade. Even so, we can beat him. We just have to work together. I don't think so. <gasps> what? Fun! You are no slave. Be free now. No, no, why? Jin, why the hell would you do this? What good does it do you? Why, you ask? Then let me ask you this. Blades are granted phenomenal power from our creator on high. Yet we are doomed to never remember. Why? What? 
The accumulation of memories is what allows mankind, no, all life to grow, change, evolve. But blades are fleeting. When we return to our cores, our memories are lost, our growth snatched away forever. People aren't so different. Man's life too has an end, yes. However, though each individual life is fleeting, you pass on your memories, allowing you to grow as a species, as a culture. Why does Endal control all the core crystals? By controlling the moment of every blade's birth, they enslave our entire kind. How is that fair? We have no culture because Indol decrees it. Because that's what your kind do. Jin! Why are you the masters and we the slaves? It is we who embody the very nature of this world. Blades embody the world. I don't get what you... If you saw the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you have come this far, there can be no turning back. But I'm afraid your journey ends here. Standing around for show that scumbag what's what. What? It's Akos. Malos sent me. Time to make an exit. Ready? <laughs> Who says we're going to let you go? <laughs> you really don't understand, do you? You really think this is over? What the? Certainly. But some energy still remains deep in its core. Don't you see? It's like a blade weapon. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to it. Bye. Wait! Ah! Can't say I'm not confused. I thought blades don't take damage. They obviously do take damage. When you strike them right in the blooming core crystal, the weak point. Well, now we can kill the Ashmas core. Ashmas. I feel that Morag with all these extra blades on her is ridiculously powerful. Am I imagining that? Because she barely takes any damage now compared to what we were doing before. I've noticed a ridiculous spiking power just for me being able to manage my guys for the first time in how many episodes ever. And I'm not imagining that. Steam bomb break. Rolling smash. let's go. Rex, I'm with you. Ready? Sword. Right. It's a triple boss fight, is it? So what we're going to end up with, by the look of it, as well, is a possibly sympathetic enemy situation. Where the bad guy has a point. This is how it looks at the moment, anyway. They're trying to break it. You can keep hearing us say break. Go 
Let's give him the full treatment. I've been waiting for you to see that. This will be over before they know what you've done. Yeah. Set up another combo here. Hmm. You you could use Runa's weather like two seconds ago. Where's that gone? I love the noise that makes. Ruinous weather, topple! If only I had launch for a robot that seems to be attached to something, you know? Alright, where can I take this into Earth, which would be me by the look of it? Or if I take it in the water, I can take it to winds. So more or less it's up to Nia over there to get the next one on. Go on then, Finch. And then let's go for it. Right, chain attack time. We need to break wind, so you know what we're using for that. A little bit of ice. Balloon. Not enough to break it in one go, however. On it. Let us settle this. Magnificent. Morag, sock it to the only thing we can target is the water. Can I actually break what I need to break this turn? I don't think I can. I'm not gonna get a break. This is terrible. Hmm. How'd you like that? I didn't know if she could break it all. I just wondered if this would target a separate element. Like wind, rather than go for the ones it was. Which is what it did in the end, so that's good. Right, so we need to break fire, which we're just going to break with pretty much every anyone at this point. That's actually hit water. Please don't hit water. We have begun our overkill. Uh, if I go for Finch this time... And try not to break it. So I can get another go by breaking next time. Look at Finch! Let's keep it up. Light works on water because it's uh, not going for a second element strike, in a sense. So it works that way. But she does ridiculous damage. And of course it is in the uh, break combo combination, isn't it? What the hell just happened? He just got a laser out of his butt. Okay, we're still going. I thought that was it. Wait, what? I'm going again. I'm going again again. Yeah, of course I am. Let's just keep hitting him with crazy powerful abilities. Like 400,000 damage is, yeah, it's a little bit overkill. It's a little bit. It's a tiny bit. Tiny bit. A little bit. I don't get it. I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own. But... I couldn't do anything. Oh, fine. Nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been! Jin. What happened? To make you like this.
What is that? Dad! Orion Army! So many of them! What?! No! Shit! Who gave that damn order?! At this rate, I don't think there's any stopping them. How so? They think Moor Ardain attacked them illegally, with no declaration of war. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on... But there's no time for that. So what? We just give up? Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. Here too. More Ardain also readying artillery. I don't care if we're not gonna make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. Wait. I wish it just ran, as it seems we've ended chapter 5, Masters and Slaves. Oh man, I should have cliffhangered it here last time. <laughs> but then I couldn't have done all the lovely arranging of stuff I could have done and unlocked Boreas's affinity chart and all that jazz. Well, what's going on? These are really the questions yet again. Uh, obviously I thought before that it was established that the blade can be hurt, except for... Well, you know, Mithra P Pyra, because they're bonded to Rex in a different way. And then the Flesh Eaters obviously probably can get hurt too, like physically hurt. But it seems that stabbing someone within their core crystal is enough to kill a blade, kill a blade, kill a blade. But that wasn't said before. <laughs> so yeah, unless Jin has a special sword, or his special core crystal allows him to do stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Right! <laughs> sure! <laughs> I'm sure I'm understanding where things are going with this at the moment. As we move on to Chapter 6, Fanlanorn is dead. But to be honest, her power was ridiculously overpowering in the fact that she could disable a blade as in an Aegis. An Aegis quite simply and easily. Now how are they going to get out this situation in the middle of a crossfire with the weapon that just shot at the Orion army? Yes, we're about to find out. We're about to find out. As chapter six wounds begins. You, you little scamp. Do you know how much the core you took was worth? I stole it from the castle. Three years it took me to get it. And now... Please! She's barely ten years old! Silence! Stay out of it! If you die, it'll be as good as new. You brought this on yourself! From now on, I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe. Always. My name is Jin. What's yours? Laura.
It seems like sending Alcos was the right choice. You all right? I've been through worse. I can handle it. Jin, I swear I'll make your dream come true. So stop putting yourself at risk. There's still time. Is that part of your dream too? What are we in the end? This hunger I feel, this thirst, is it really my own or is it someone else's? <sighs> Sometimes I can't tell. Tell me, Jin, are you really here? I don't know where I really am. You're starting to sound like a human. Oh, yeah. Perhaps we're not so different after all. Humans and blades. Jin's still alive because they've kept her frozen to keep Jin alive then, more or less. Maybe her time is nearly up, considering Jin is having things in his core crystal has changed colours. Theories is all I can present. Knowing is what we'll get from keeping on playing. It looks like we're about to politics. What's the deal with this ceasefire? A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor Amalthus is here in person. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Does he have any clue how many men we lost? If those Ardanians get away with this, architect, damn it. Quit your grumbling, mate. All this is way beyond our pay grade. You got that right. We're all just faceless cannon fodder to the bigwigs. CO says jump, we jump. Poor Australian soldiers. There's no war, hopefully. Not if I can get away with it. Morning, folks. Everyone sleep well? Not a wink. Figured as much. Let's take a nice walk over to the hall where the emergency summit's being held. Clear our heads a little. Someone's got to escort Morag over there, right? I think I'd be perfectly capable of finding my own way. And Mithra's meant to be attending too, right? Apparently, yes. See, we might as well all head over. I guess you're right. Let's go then. No, we gotta leave them waiting for about two hours' time. I'm back. We worked really hard for this one. Well, we do All side quests, yeah? Safely. There's something I need to report. I hope you will be the bearer of good news. Alright, so we gained some new affinity rewards from that battle as well. It doesn't ring a bell, does it? Wait a second, I've gotta change Mithra here to view her actual chart. She's yeah, a hell of a lot work. less developed, so I should probably work on that a bit more, but again, needs to defeat enemies in Lefaria, so we really need to do a, like a combat tool of Lefaria at this point. More than anything else, I'd imagine. Well, and feed some people, etc. Evade an attack. Finch gain a buff as well. I had the coolest idea! Did you? You got 3% chance to reset recharge for an enemy art when a special connects. Wait, you can reset the enemy charges? That's kind of powerful, isn't it? That's kind of powerful. In the meantime, our Merc group comes back. What did you think? A roaring success? Thanks for getting it done. She uh, and the Contrarians has become my main 
Merc Squad, weirdly enough. And as you see, have opened up to us. we've got a fair few of the lower level blades, or not common blades, as actually getting quite a few buffs Hopefully now. I'll get to use this one day. They are getting stuff in time. Oh, Electra got three things! Heal a power surge. Well, that's nice. It seems easier to level them up by sending them in Merc's quest than anything else, but we can only get that up, so we should probably keep Electra back now. And save that guy whose heart we'll is uh, better not better. beating. When our main quest six hours side quest is how we do it. So we divvy out our games. Get some rest and prepare for the next one. All right, another Merc quest done. Hey, Velo. We'll just get better and better. Just tons of. I've improved upon my support method. Affinity charts being filled here. Ah, I just keep on. I can keep getting better. I think I tried to get rid of some that only had like the I one power as well, like better. the Earth Mastery, etc. So I've kept the ones that have more, but we are at Merc level two now. I know if I dispatch more, we're okay for that. But if you look on the Merc squad list here, there, mostly everything is done now. They all have the reefs next to it. That's how much work I had to do between the- well, not work, I just had to wait and play Tiger Tiger a lot to get some of these up. Now meanwhile, another Merc thing appeared, which requires Godfrey as a leader. So I was saving this until he came back, or until we were on a session. So let's send our justice-loving soul forward. <laughs> I'll do it. Alright, we need three with a ten plus, and we also need Knuckle Claws, so one of them will be you, in fact. I will strive to do the utmost best, whatever my role. Alright, so we wanna... Da, da, da. We need to find someone with knuckle claws that might have one of the other criteria below. Okay, understood. Would be best. Might be unlikely though. I'll take care of it. Because that actually, in the suggested field skills, lowers the time they're sent for. Seems that mostly everyone is fire mastery at this point. Got it. I guess I just gotta send loads of fire blades, really. At your command. So we'll send Godfrey as the bravest of the brave. From today, we're the bravest of the brave. I'll head out right now. Yeah, when the development level goes up and we get a billion more merc quests, it'll be insane. But for now, we're okay. It's only 15 minutes he's gone for, after all. But yeah, I've been doing loads of Merc quests on top of everything else. And I've nearly got most of them done at this point. A bumper crop here, I need a little bit more for that. So I might just send him on the goods transport for now, which needs just males. Are you male? Are you male? Does anyone have m mental arithmetic powers? He's I'll male and has transport properly. mastery. That's pretty much what all Merc quests are. It's just going back and forth and trying to find people that fill the bottom criteria rather than the top criteria. And hoping you can anyway. I'll finish the job properly. Is there really not any like more with transport mastery? This quest is gonna take a while. I should just send common blades on it then. I'll apply okay, myself I vow to carry out my sworn duty. Whatever the task, I'm up to it. You're almost Party. level 15, you're not even half the game yet. Good luck. I believe I'm oh, I'm half the game. Honest. I only shaved five minutes off. Let me know. Right. Let's go and do some psych- No, I'm kidding. I'm going to go do the main quest. Honest. But we now can level up Rock to his third affinity stage. So that's one of the things I was working on in the meantime. It feels mean not to, uh... Level up Vandom's blade, even though it's not Vandom's blade anymore, if you know what I mean. Respect his memory and all. Do the Merc missions. I wasn't assuming their gender based on things, I was assuming their gender based on the thing that said male or female. Maybe it's their identifying gender, I don't know. Let's head to beautiful politics land, the Praetor Study. Time for some politics. You know you wanna hear what's gonna happen. Basically, everyone needs to combine and fight Torna, but Torna have a reason to fight, so this is a bit confusing. In a lot of regards. And the Praetor's not even here! Where is he? Oh, they got a side chamber, okay. Can I steal your chair? 
I'm gonna sit in his chair. I could be, I could be the leader. I, I'm an Aegis driver too. Hello, say hello. Well, here's the venue for the Summit of Nations. I must apologize, but entry is forbidden to all but the official representatives of each nation. I guess this is as far as we go. Yes, Bridget and I will proceed to the summit. I'm coming with you. And so are you, Mithra, remember? I guess. I'm not sure I like it, but I suppose I have to play my part in all of this. Well, then doesn't that mean that Rex should go too, as driver, the Aegis driver? Rex, you head back to our chambers while the others, with the others and wait for us. Why? Let Rex go. I know he's not got much to say, but still. No problems. The captain there, okay, Mithra? Don't worry, I'll handle this just fine. <laughs>